we're going to start the uh, cosmic healing. And um, the most important part, understand the force. Okay? And um, we come from the force and from nothingness to something. And that is a very important part to understand the cosmos, the cosmic, the cosmos. There are so much uh, in the sci science talking about we come from the cosmos. Okay? We are the children of the cosmos. So that, um, that's what the cosmic healing are involved. So um, the whole practice in the Tao is so much involved with what we call by the um, white magic practice. Okay. You change one energy from one energy to another energy. So that is very important to understand that. In a cosmic healing, it work, always work together with the Qi Nei Zhang. So in the Qi Nei Zhang, you're physically um, work on some problem that you have. Okay? And the cosmic, you take the energy and you set the energy system in a proper way again. Okay? So there are no healing modality, we do everything. Okay? So that is the, um, the cosmic healing. They always work with the Chi Nei Chang practice. Always work with the Chi Nei Chang practice together. So the first thing we're going to talking about, the first thing we're going to talking about is the um, the first uh, beginning of the practice is we have to creating a chi field. Okay. So in what we you call and you walk a different forces down. Okay, down here. Okay, so we are um, using east direction forces and different, so we have five element force. We have uh, water, fire, uh, earth, uh, metal, and water. Okay, so we call all these forces. And we have five element forces. And the eight forces, the animal force, sacred animals, and all the spirit. So, so this become a very important part that we have to do it all the time, over and over and over again. So the, the more you can call in the forces, the better. Okay? So this is what the Tao's always talking about. So we start from the earth, where we stand on, the human and all the living thing. And when we go up the moon, the, our solar system, and when we go up, we go to our galaxy. And that is the North Star and Southern Cross at this moment control. And from there we go up to the five element star here. Okay. So that so the power of it is very powerful. Okay. So we look at an, a simple number like the, the moon actually is a very small object. Okay. Um it don't have its own gravitation that much to spinning around itself. But attached to the Earth. So the Moon actually has the power to spin, to affect the own power, affecting the water. Because the, the, the Earth has 70% its water. And that is a big, 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 if we went to the ocean, right in the middle of the ocean, and you know how big they are. So 70% of the earth is water. And the moon affecting the high tide and the low tide of the, the water, affecting the marine life, 
And we also have 70%, at least have more than 70% of water. So that means the moon have a very strong effect affecting on us. So that's how they are, the moon. The one object in the space. Now the planets is many, many times bigger than the moon. Okay? And the sun is many, many times bigger than all the planets put together. So in our, our solar system, the sun is the power, and we are attached to the power. So we call layer by layer, step by step of the power. So you call law and order. So the order in here is the moon spin around the earth. The earth and the planets spin around the sun. So there's the order, okay? Ordering that way. Now when we go up to our galaxy, there are about, the Milky Way galaxy, we have about 200 billion stars. So in this one, we have about 200 billion stars, okay? So this 200 billion star controlled by the, at the present, at now, controlled by the North Star on the North and the Southern Cross on the South, okay? That means uh, we believe that all the planet, or all the star, so our sun only counted at one star, the planet not counted, okay, only one star out of 200 billion star, okay? And they're all spinning, or we say, they're all tilt toward the North Star and Southern Cross. So all of them, 200 billion star, are tilt toward the North Star and Southern Cross. So this one, I want you to understand, this is the force we are working with in our galaxy. The very important part to understand this, because it's the force there. If you don't understand the force, you don't know how to work with it, okay? And definitely the Earth are tilted toward the North Star. Why? Because we always use the North Star at a point, okay? Without it, we have no direction. And it, it seems like the North Star always fixed. At night, <laughs> uh, we hope one day we make a, a, a tower from here. It's right here. The North Star is right here. We make a tower and make an arrow point toward the North Star. And it never change. Okay? It's always fixed that way. It's always fixed to the North. Okay? So, our Earth compared to the Sun and our um, is very really little, small, okay? And our sun, compared to the other star, is very really little. They're only a junior sun. There are many, many bigger sun than us. So, we're going to use a lot of North Star and the Southern Cross, okay? And every time you set up a chief field, you call the force, you have to be always connecting with the North Star and Southern Cross. So we call the North Star General. It's very important because this general control 200 billion soldiers. So it's a very big general to know. <laughs> okay? So this is in our galaxy. And finish this. Now, when we jump up, when we jump up, to the five element star, that me a uh, five element star. So we have we have water star, fire star, uh, earth star, metal star, and the um, and the wood star. Okay, and this is how the Chinese divide the universe, the whole universe, into these five element star. Okay. Now, 
the scientific know now we have about 200 billion galaxy. That means each galaxy about 200 billion star. So if you have this 200 billion multiplied by two, 200 billion galaxy, it's about 400 trillion star. So a trillion is a 1,000 billion. A 1 billion is 1,000 million. So the number is too big for us to even talk about that. Okay? And that's what in the universe they have. About 200 billion galaxy totally is about trillion star. Okay? And if you divide them by five, so the five element star, uh, five divided by 200 is 40. So each one star control 40 uh, billion galaxy. So one star control about 40 billion galaxy. Okay. So in the Taoism, we believe that this five element star and they control certain star, and so it, it come into the astrology of Chinese Chinese astrology. Okay. So the Chinese astrology is going to involve with, um, so the Chinese astrology is going to involve with the, um, each big area are controlled by one uh, star. And when they move, so when they're affecting us, it's quite strong. Affecting us is quite strong. So we don't, we don't figure out, I mean, um, so we don't use the angle of the sun angle of the moon, angle of the planets. But we look at the five big elements that control 40 billion galaxies. So the whole universe are affecting us here in a group of trillion stars like that, affecting us that way. Okay? So from the five elements that you go up, we call three pure ones. In fact, three pure one is three become one. One become three. Okay? So you have, have, so you have like this. Three of them become one. Control the, so the five element, so the um, all the star split out and spinning around this five element star. And the three pure one split out, three pure one, they're, they're rotating, three become one, one become three. Okay? When three become one, they become the, the, the force here. They become the force here. Okay? So we call it three pure one. So become the God, the primordial, the creator. That is the beginning of it. And each one will control the whole universe. So there are three ones, they rotate. Each one will control so the whole universe. So they're spinning around this one star. Okay? It, it, it's three become one star that control and, and spinning like that. Okay? So that is the, um, uh, the thing that we have to practice this way. The thing we have to practice this way. See? And from here, go down to the earth, go down to the southern cross. From here, go up, moon, sun, south, uh, north star, fire element star, three pure one, and the force. Okay. And uh, it's just like if you grew up in praying to God or praying to Buddha, you are connecting with the same force. You try to connect with the same force. But in the Taoism, we give you, this is the theory, and this is the facts. And this is what the Tao's many thousand years uh, understanding. Okay? Three pure one, they combine, become this. Okay? 
when they combine the force, they become this one. But at one moment, they are one control the whole universe, one moment. The same thing like the North Star. So we have Vigo and the North Star, and um, so there are three of them. Okay? So three. So now, uh, it happened 2,500 years ago, the North Star moved in. Okay? So we're controlled by the North Star. And the other one, they spin out very far. So they have no power control us. So maybe another 2,500 years, another star coming, three of them, another star moving in. I think we go, V E G O, we go, come in and control us. So, so the axis of the Earth may tilt. It might tilt in a different way. I mean, um, it, it's not a big chain, but it's tilt. It can tilt, it can change. So all the equipment in us, we have to re recalculate them again. Okay? We have to recalculate them again because they are all changes. Now we calculate all to the North Star. So that we, can, we will see the North Star never, never move. But North Star always move. <laughs> okay? Have to be moved. Yeah. North Star is spinning. But because all the stars in this galaxy are tilted toward the North Star. Okay? So when, when the North Star spins, we always, the axis always point toward the North Star. So we seem like the North Star never moves. So that's the, that's the only object in the, we can calculate only. Okay? And you don't have to do much anything. Okay? When you close your eyes, you think about a force pulling you toward the north, north star. Okay? If you think about it, you connect. Okay? And um, we believe that the north star emanates out violet light. It radiates out violet light. Okay? And that is... Uh, very powerful light in the universe. One of the most powerful ones. Now, we go back to the, um, the universe, is that the, uh, the universe, the, um, the yin yang, we call the whole universe, they are filled with these yin yang forces. And there are no polarity. And now they started to understand that this is their dark matter and dark energy. There are no polarity. And there are dark matter and dark energy. And when they come together, bang together, they're creating the yin yang, okay, they're creating the yin yang. And from there, they're creating the whole yin yang and back to fire element and to the trillion thing again. So that's how uh, more and more the scientific are more agree with the Tao's concept of the universe. Because this is how the, 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 the Tao's look at the universe. From, it, it, it observe the universe and feel the force and how it works that way. Okay? So that is the dark matter only consists of the newest one is 4%. Okay? We have the newest one. It's a 4% only. So all the material world that we have is only 4%. So they are waiting for us to ask and to materialize them. Okay, is the power. So, what we say that the universe is unlimited. The potential of it to change to anything is so big and so great. Because the Big Bang we have with all the, the star and everything we have is only consists of the whole universe 4%. That's why in the, 
In the sky, we look at the sky at night, they are dark. Okay? The sky at night are dark. Because only 4%, the whole thing. And the rest is 96%. The whole universe is 96% that is still waiting for us to create something. Okay? So we have human, when we train our mind, we can us. So, there are, so the whole cosmic energy is us. Us, the force. And give the force a specified thing you want to do. That's the whole the cosmic energy. You want the light, you want the healing, you want the power. That's all. You ask. Ask the power. So the whole healing power us are based on this. It's all based on this. It start from the beginning, your mind. And you, you ask for the power to heal yourself. And later on, you ask the power to heal other people. That's what we are doing here. And with this same principle, you ask and manifest out what you want. Okay? Because we have... So the most important part, you have to have a very established, this, a very powerful antenna, a transmitter, transmitting tower. You have to expect, develop this. So this one, from here all the way up, is a very high transmitting tower. Okay? We're going to start by, we're going to combine together. We call a link. So you're going to be do this over and over and over again, many, many times. Okay? The link. And during this week, you're going to establish the link with everybody. Okay? And remember this link. And when you can join hand together, your link is so your transmitting power become very, very, very high, 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 very high. And you have more power to ask. And you have more power to request. And it will be happen. Okay? So that is the, we call, whirling. The original force, we call the force. So when we born, this force keeps the power to us. The earth, the heaven, the parents. And later heaven, later high heaven force is the air, the food, the water. That is keep us and how we can live this life. But the most important part is the force. So we call a primordial breath. The first primordial breath. We take the breath, and that becomes our original force. And when we spend this force out, we don't have it. Finish. So you have to always connecting with the force and increasing your original force. The primordial force, or we call primordial breath. And um, it's sometimes very simple. You think about the force, smile to the force, and you just breathing in. And you retain the force. So we're going to do a lot of this uh, cosmic healing. Okay? Microcosmic is a very basic thing that we, we need to learn. Okay? And that's what most of you, if you learn the basic, you already know. Now, so the world link, so we're going to start with the link and the uh, chi field. We're connecting with the link and we ask the force to be down. And all you have to do, do it. Okay? All you have to do is do it. And the very important part is you have to be trust and believe. The force. Why? The force is around us. You have to be trust and believe. And you just ask. And you will be given. Okay? So the link, we start with the link here. Everybody have one. So you put your hand above your head. 
Okay. So above the head here, we said a star, a higher self, a higher, higher force, okay, a guidance or a protector. So there are, there are a few different names. But we think them like a star. Okay? And when you feel when you feel this star, all you do is connect. Link to the people, your classmate here, you feel a dim light on the head and you feel a connection. A connection. A connection. A connection. A connection. So you all link together. So you all link into one. And we're creating one bigger star on the top. Or we sometimes we call it energy body. Okay? So we put together the energy one and we shh, go up. Okay? So when we when we join together and we put up, we can go up very high. And when we reach the force, all we do is ask the force to be down. Okay? Ask the force to be down. And the force is coming down to you, and you receive the force. Okay? And all you have to do is, you want to transmit it to other people, you do that. And you ask whatever they are, it will be given. So it's the practice that you need to really feel, feel it. The universe holds our original DNA. So we can ask a proper DNA so our cells can go, can, can have our original DNA. So the, sec, um, the universe holds the original DNA because it's creating everything in the universe. And we become part of the creator. Okay? So the universe holds part of our DNA, the original one. In our body, the sexual energy or sex cells hold our original DNA because we come from the sex. One egg from the mother, one sperm from the father come together and it started to split. And that is the first DNA. Okay? So the universe, the force, that's what we are always looking for. Okay? So the first thing, you have to understand the primordial force, primordial breath. That means the breath from the original of the original. And they are there. They are 94% in the universe. Okay? So what we can see here is only 4%. It's so little. So that means everywhere all around us is force. All you do is ask, think, connect, and bring it down. Okay? And you have the force. The belief is very important. Okay? And uh, when you're spinning the force, and you can feel all the force are spinning around you. Okay? Upper mind and lower mind. There are books about, about, about the upper mind, and the lower mind, and the heart mind, so three mind. So we're going to talk a lot. You're going to, over and over, every time you're going to talk, I'm going to tell you upper mind, middle mind, and lower mind. Three mind into one mind, okay, or three tantian into one, and you merge them into one. It's just like a team, okay? It's just like, um, uh, the famous story telling about Genghis Khan, the Mongolia, they conquer half of the world. It's, it's the biggest empire. It conquer half of the China, it conquer half of the Europe, Russia. And it, from very simple thing, he teaches son, he get one stick. He give one one give each one one stick. He have seven son. So he take one stick and he break it. He break. And when he get seven sticks together, and 
it cannot break. Okay, so we call it a team. So you have to really practice it. You must get this part. You don't get it, you don't get the cosmic healing. Okay, mind, eye, heart, the soul, and the spirit. Okay, you must put them together. And the meeting point is in the heart. And the gathering point, the meeting point in the heart. And the gathering point in the Tantian. Okay, so you have meeting point, meeting places, and the gathering places. Okay? And it's very important. So the mind, put your mind into it. Put your eye in it. Put your heart into it and put your soul and your spirit in it. So in the Tao we call E power. Okay? E power. The very important part about E. You have to train this. When you turn, everything turns inward, boom. You turn inward. And from there you connect up to the heart and you go anywhere you want to go. As a team. Okay? Now, in the West, you also have this, you better put your mind in your work. You better watch what you're doing, right? You better keep more heart into the work. You better keep your soul in it. You better have much better team spirit, a team spirit, right? We have all this. But how are you going to put them together? Okay. When people cannot get things done, why? When they do something, the hand doing that, but the eye looks somewhere, and the mind go another way, and the heart go another way. You think they get things done that way? No. The mind is one way, the eye is one way, the heart is one way, and the spirit is scattered all over. But you cannot get anything done. So this is become a very powerful practice in the Tao practice. The E power. My, I, heart, soul, and spirit become one team. And all these things you have to practice in it. Okay? When you very concentrate and very believe and ask, you get it. Okay? You ask and you will be given. Okay? You ask and you will be given. Good chi, good heart, good intention. Three mind, three tan tian. Work at one. Okay, work at one. The heart connecting to everything. And uh, when we have frustration, the heart beats differently. When we have feel appreciation and love, the heart beats differently again. Much better heart beating. So emotional become a very important part. And you're going to, we're going to use so much about the heart feel, the heart. When you radiate out the heart, it's about 3 meter, 10 meter, 20 meter, 50 meter big. It can go up to one mile big. So that is a very important part. Every time you must creating your chi field from the heart and radiate out. So that is the first chi field that you need to do. So when you feel love, feel appreciation, feel, feel happy, gratefulness, thankfulness, the heart expands in creating the field. So we're going to be first link all the spirit together, the soul and the spirit together. Okay? And this is um, from the... So we, uh, we have five major spirits inside and four, four outside. Uh, one above, one in the brain, one below, and one behind the knee. So we say nine spirit. But the first thing, we have the five spirits. They are running inside. They're running inside. And we have one we call communicator is in the brain. And that is the brain spirit, the sun. 
Okay. So let's talk about the heart spirit first. We call original spirit sun. Okay. We give them a red light, a red spirit. And the second in command is the liver. We call soul. The Hun. The Hun. And uh, we give them a green spirit. And the third in command is the spleen. We call the E spirit. Okay. So let's start again. The red spirit, we call original spirit in the heart. It controls everything. Control the spirit inside here and connecting everywhere. The second in command we call Hun is the soul of the liver. It's the one we call the soul of the vision and the planning. Okay, the soul of the vision and planning. And the third in command we call the E, the spleen spirit, the yellow spirit, the E power, the E. The E we call the power of intention. The E, the power of intention. The E spirit is the one that in the between, in the middle. It links the up and link the below. So from the E, from the E, the spleen, to liver and the heart, the spirit is connecting upward. Okay? And from there down, we go down, it's connecting downward to the earth and material. And so the third in command is the lung. We call the per. The soul, the soul. So the power of the soul is transformation, changes thing, transformation. Okay? And the kidney, the power of the kidney, so we call the per soul. So the kidney is the power of will power. The will is the blue color. So we have one spirit, second the liver is so, is a, is a one. And third, spleen is the, um, is the spirit, the E spirit. And the lung is the, the per, the per. And the kidney is the willpower, the zi power. So all these major spirit function is very important. If you lose one spirit, a major function lost. Okay? A major function lost. So when people scare, boom, all the spirit in my run away. So we call scatter, 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 pew, all the spirit run away. And that is very bad. And if the spirit don't come back, the person might not function at all. It cannot function in the normal way. Okay. So after these five spirit, we have one spirit above. Here. We call the higher self, higher star. And one in the brain control all the communication. Okay. We call the sun. This is Yuan Shen, this is Shen. Okay. This original spirit, and this is the spirit, the Shen. Okay. And we have one below. So that three. Now I have one, they are no mass function, but we don't know, are behind the knee. So there's a five, a nine spirit. So what we're going to do now, we're going to connect them together. Connect all the soul and the spirit. So we call nine soul and spirit into one team. In the Tao practice, the worst thing we don't like to see is in the moment of death, all these nine spirit are scattered. The per and the zi remain on the earth. And uh, they become early bow or connecting to the light animal spirit uh, soul. They stay. And the rest, it may be scattered direction. And we never meet together. In this practice, we want you understand that we want them 
to be one team. Okay? It's a, a team. So you put them together and they work as one team. So we're going to be talk about E power. My, I, heart, soul, and the spirit, one team. So when you smile, relax, and gather them together. So everything become one team and work as a team. So we're going to be aware the star on the top, and it's going to be linked in the brain. And you come down, linked to the brain, the spirit, and you come out, and you go up again, and you spiral the energy, and you come down. So come down to the throat center, out, and going up. You bring the higher cell down to the brain, up to the throat, up. Now down to the heart, connecting with the original spirit, and out. And you come down again, down, and connecting to the lung, the perk, and out. And you're coming down to the solar plexus, the liver. And you go out and up. Coming down to the navel, the spleen. Okay. And down to the sexual center, the kidney. And down to the perineum, down to the soul, down to the knee. You're connecting to the spirit on the back of the knee. And finally, we go down to the earth, connect. So you feel like, like this nine spirit, five major soul and spirit, and another four are connecting together as one team. Okay? So, when you, so you train when you turn your mind in, you feel your mind, eye, heart, power are gathered together. Okay? Okay. So um, let's practice together. So let's do the um, green neck. Aware the star above you, a very dim light above you, a very dim light. Your higher self, Feel the pearl above you spinning very fast. The higher star connecting to above you. And bring it down, spinning, penetrate to your skull, down to the middle of your brain. And let it spinning, connecting with the spirit in the brain is a communicator and a controller. Out of the mid eyebrow and come up to the crown and spiral above your head. Again, bring it down, really feel something penetrate to your scalp down to your brain, down to your throat center, and coming out, coming up, and spinning very fast above your crown. Bring it down to your heart, and let it spinning and connecting to the original spirit in the heart. And spiral, expand out from the heart 
to the front of you and connecting back again to the crown. From the crown and coming down past the brain, the heart, and connecting down to the solar plexus, connecting to the lung spirit and the liver spirit, liver soul. The lung soul and the perp and the liver soul, the hun. The lungs is a white spirit, the liver is a green spirit. Connecting to the star of you again. Now we're going to move all the way down to the navel. Straight line from the crown. Connecting to the spleen. The yellow spirit. And out from the navel out. and up to the star above you. Now from the crown, all the way down to the sexual center. That is above your pubic bone a little bit, connecting to the kidney, the soul, the spirit of the kidney, the willpower, a blue spirit. Just think them, the spirit inside you all connecting together. And connecting out and connecting up. And from the crowd go all the way down to the perineum, to the knee, and back of the knee, connecting with the spirit there. And back up to your higher star again. And finally, we're going to come from the star above you, coming down straight to your crown. Penetrate to the middle spirit, middle of your body, all the way down to perineum, to the back of the knee, and to your soul. And go down to the star below the about six feet under the ground. So now you hold your hand near your heart and feel everybody are scattering in the heart. The Lord called the meeting, everybody come in. And my, I, heart, soul and spirit all gather in the heart. Meeting there as one team. And moving all the whole team to gathering in the Dante and in your navel. So cover your navel and smile. Spiral in your center. Really feel your mind, eye, heart, soul, and spirit gather in one team. From the navel connecting to the heart. And feel you connecting to the earth, to the moon, to the sun, north star, fire element star, to pure one, and the primordial.
feel everything become one. Raise your hand and just think about the force coming down. Think about the force coming down to you. The grace of the universe, the primordial breath. the gratefulness and the thankfulness. Everything coming down to you. And bring it back down. Just feel the force. The more you relax, the more you feel the force coming down to you. Follow your tantien. <laughs>